BMW recently revealed a concept car called the BMW iX Flow, which can flick between being black, white and grey at the push of a button. Imagine uh, I'm bored with my sensible grey car, I think I'll make it yellow for the day, then just hitting a button and changing it. Car wraps could be a thing of the past and you could have a different colour car whenever you want. It's undoubtedly amazing tech but let's look into how it actually works and why we think it will never catch on. Though it's still not a production car, the iX Flow is the world's first colour changing car. So what's the closest we've seen on a car you can actually buy. The nearest thing on a production car would be flip paint, sometimes known as chameleon paint. This changes the way the car looks depending on the lighting and from which angle you see it. Flip paint works by having millions of tiny flakes in the paint that act like prisms when light hits them. This refracts and reflects the light, giving the paint a colour changing effect. It's not actually that common now, but it was a popular modification in the early 2000s and it has even been offered by manufacturers like TVR, McLaren and even Ford. Another colour changing technique is thermochromic paint. This works using heat so when it reaches a certain temperature it will reveal a different colour. It's actually less commonly used on cars and you're more likely to see it on novelty items like colour changing mugs. But neither of those are close to the e-ink system used by BMW. So how does it actually work? First of all it's not paint, it's actually laminated on a plastic film. It's also not the most futuristic tech as it's been around for a little while now. Amazingly it's quite similar to what you would find in a Kindle which uses a two pigment e-ink system. The Kindle uses e-ink because it uses very little power. It isn't backlit like a usual tablet screen and it only uses power when the colour changes. And it's actually the same for the iX Flow which can display a colour without being a drain on power, only using it when the colour changes. It's made up of millions of hair thin micro capsules in a grid. Each capsule contains tiny black and white particles with the white particles positively charged and the black ones negatively charged. That means when a corresponding electrical current is applied either the white or black particles will rise to the top. That current can also be sent to independent sections meaning it doesn't have to change the whole colour of the car. Imagine exposed carbon fibre that you could then switch to a normal black. It can also be used for privacy windows or to be used as a sunshade. I actually think I just saw that on a plane. You know the windows? Virgin had these ones where you pressed a button and it went, it moved the colour up. It didn't have the window blind anyway. The only thing is they're not really colours. Surely this would be more interesting if you could choose from a huge palette of colours. This could be possible with a three and four pigment e-ink system. These would use more colours in order to mix and combine a variety of different shades. So other than just being an awesome party trick, how could a colour changing car be useful? BMW's main reason for doing it is personalisation, but also to display information. The iX is an electric electric car and a colour changing exterior means the car could indicate when it needs charging or when it's full without even getting in. They also say it would be useful for car sharing because the car could display when it's available or when it's in use, like a taxi uses a sign. Losing your car in a car park can be annoying. BMW says it will be possible to make your car flash so you can spot it easier. Or even better than that, you could change the colour of your friend's car to make it harder to find. It could also be useful in hot countries. You may have noticed that there are a lot of white cars in hot countries. This isn't just a matter of taste. It's because white is far more reflective than black and dark coloured cars and that keeps them cooler. With this e-ink tech you could switch to white if you know your car is going to be left in the sun for a while. An e-ink could be great when it comes to choosing the colour of a car. Imagine going into a car dealership and they don't have the car in the colour you want. There could be an e-ink car in the dealership that's used just to showcase all the different colours available. A little bit like using an online configurator. Obviously this would be a bit more complex considering how many colours manufacturers offer but it would be a great way to show different options in person. You could even have it for individual parts like wheels. Do you want black wheels today? Well it's just a button press away rather than having them painted or changed. So there are a few positives but to be honest most of them are answers to questions that no one has ever asked. So let's get into why we think colour changing cars 
won't really catch on. So you crash your color changing iX flow and it needs a repair. It could be a little more complex and possibly more expensive to replace your e-ink system rather than just replace a panel and repaint. We also don't know how durable it will be. Car paint can last for years and years, even without proper maintenance. But will this film be able to handle a lifetime of stone chips and dirt? And would the e-ink segments break like an LCD TV? Similar to that, what if it malfunctions? You could be driving down the road flashing like a mobile nightclub. Obviously, if this tech became the norm, then you'd imagine that maintenance and reliability would advance with it. But we definitely have our reservations. It could also be the ultimate technology for the discerning getaway driver. They could commit a crime, hop in the e-ink getaway car, then as soon as they're out of the sight of police, they can just switch the color. It would be literally like playing Grand Theft Auto. It would also be a nightmare for any crime that involves a color changing car. Imagine reporting your car stolen. You'd have to tell the police it could be one of many colors at any time. Car thieves could switch the registration mark of a vehicle, switch the color, and no one would have a clue. In the UK in particular, your car's registration document states the color of your car. If you change the color of your car, you'd also need to change the document, as well as inform your insurer. It's even said that car color can affect your insurance price. So maybe you could just switch the car color to whichever is cheapest and away you go. At the moment, this is just a research project which is unlikely to make its way into production cars anytime soon. E-Ink has some pretty awesome uses on cars, but there would need to be so many changes in legislation that color changing cars could be really hard to make road legal. If you like this video, then you should watch this other video that we made about Porsche's genius new turbo design. It used electricity and all sorts. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.